Okay, today we'd like to look at how to figure out the maximum amount of work that we can get from an engine. To do this, we should realize that the key to this entire thing is realizing that the ideal engine will be one in which the change in entropy of the universe is equal to zero. So what we do is we find the change in entropy of our hot source by using change in entropy equals Q over T. We find the heat transfer as 153 kilojoules. We put that in regular joules. We use the temperature at which that heat was transferred, 994, and we get an answer for the change in entropy of our hot source. This turns out to be minus 154 joules per Kelvin. Okay, in order for it to be the ideal engine, we would want that to be the same change in entropy for our cold source. So as we dump the heat into the coolant, we use 154 as our change in entropy. This time it's positive because we're adding energy to our source. We're dumping it at a temperature of 356. And we calculate then our change in energy, our heat that is, for the cold source, and that is 55 kilojoules. Okay, we now use the idea that the energy that goes in must equal the energy that goes out. This is 55 kilojoules. We had 153 go in. So that means that we have available energy for work as 98 kilojoules. The energy that goes in must equal the energy that comes out. To test to see if we did this right, we now enter in the answer that we got and our name, and then we hit submit. And if all went well, we should get a message saying that our work was good and our predicted work should match up with the actual work. If you want to figure out the efficiency of your engine, we can do this real simply by doing efficiency equals our work that we got out versus the heat that we put in. The work we got out was 98. The heat that we put in was 153, and that works out to an efficiency of about 64%. So again, the big idea is that the most ideal efficient engine would be the one in which the change in entropy of the universe is zero. So the change in entropy of your hot source must be balanced by the change in entropy of the cold source.